small goldfish pond. And I would say it's maybe 160 gallons, judging by fish tanks I had. Hey, it's Jason. I'm here in my backyard, and I want to talk about a pond filter I got. And you're probably thinking, hey, Jason, you don't even have a pond. Why do you have a pond filter? We have this little tiny goldfish pond that I primarily use as a source for water for the backyard honeybees. We also like all the wild flowers that grow around it and such. This is the Viva Home Backyard Koi Pond Filter. It's a biological pressure, pressurized filter. Let me take you back here and show you what it looks like and give you a little bit of a run through of what it can do. Now this is a very, very small goldfish pond. And I would say it's maybe 160 gallons, judging by fish tanks I had. And you can see it's sloped a little bit. So a little bit more water on this side. It's a sand. When I put this in primarily for the backyard honeybees over there and there. This is the Viva Home 1500 gallons per hour backyard pond filter. This is day one. You can see the water is not clear at all. You can see it's still kind of coming out a little bit dirty. We have some goldfish that wintered and they are still alive. We have some tadpoles and whatnot in there. The wildflowers inundate this area. They're going to get really, really tall and you actually just have a path to get in here and then you're kind of in like an enclosed area. So I was going to put stone and such around the pond filter. But in a month, these wide flowers will really take off. We have like eight foot sunflowers that grow in all kinds of stuff. But enough of me yapping, let's talk about this filter. So I have this hooked into a pump. The pump is coming up through here into the dirty water area. It goes in, there's like a mixture, I believe, of bio balls in the top and a bunch of sponges in the middle. And then it's going out to my waterfall, which you see getting really nice flow right there. Again, this is a Chinese brand filter. And I think this sticker is swapped with whatever company wants to put their label on it. In this case, it was Vivo Home. It has a UV light built in. You can see it kind of lighting up there. You can really see it much better at night. If the filters get clogged, this has a plunger that comes up and it will tell you to clean it. There's not a whole lot to this, but what I really like about this is you can turn this and it squeezes the sponges inside. It has like a roller. But you can go to the dirty discharge, and you can see how dirty it is. And as I squeeze it, it's actually helping me clean those filters. Now you don't want to do it that much on a pond of this size, but that's a really good way to clean your filters. What I used to only use on this pond, this guy. And it would get so dirty. And I've never successfully had a really clear pond back here. So this is day one. It is May 14th. I'm going to show this video over time to give you an idea just how long it takes the Vivo Home 1500 gallon an hour backyard pond filter to clear up. So the purpose of this video, you'll be able to say, well, you know, if it cleared that up in a day or two days or whatever it is, you could theoretically probably multiply out how long it might take to clear up your pond. I'll put a link to the pond filter 
in the description here. This thing is super easy to hook up. You plug it in, mainly for the UV. You plumb it, it comes with adapters for different um, sizes. You can see I'm using a bigger one in the back. And then my outlet is going to a smaller one simply because that's how the water fountain is hooked up, or the waterfall, I should say. It comes with the O-rings. You basically just plug this thing in, hook it to your pump, and when you hook it to your pump, it's gonna take a second for this to fill up, and then it will start shooting the water out. Hey, it's Jason, so I'm back here with the Goldfish Pond. It has been 24 hours, I guess, technically. So it's the next day, and it's clear. I can see all the way to the bottom of the pond. I can see the fish and all of that good stuff. So let's take a look. I am just so surprised. I hope this video does it justice, but you can see the fish in there. You can see some of the debris at the bottom. But there's four fish in here. There's two there, and there should be some. There's one there, if you can kind of see the orange. There's two right there. So this is just super cool, because we have not had a clear pond in a long time. I gotta put some more water on it though because I was doing some back flushing. So I give this Vivo Home pressurized pond filter an absolute thumbs up. I would do an update in a couple days just to show how it's holding up.